Hey guys, Firecrispy Gaming here, and uh, well, you clicked on this video, so you should know what it is. I attempted to survive a hundred days in Minecraft Hardcore as a farmer. This is a custom made mod pack I made myself, and there are quite a few uh, events. Especially on day two. So. Don't. I'm not going to waste any time. I hope you guys like it. You guys already know what to do if you do. And uh, yeah. Let's not waste any more time. Alright. Day one. Well day one started off. As. Any day one would start off. I just go around, collect wood, and well, mostly just collecting wood. Trust me, I'm gonna need a lot of wood for what I'm planning to do. Also, using FTB Alt Mine or Ultimine mod, one of my favorite mods out there. Oh my goodness, it's pretty much a vein miner, except you can use it on up to 64 blocks of anything it has to be just that singular block though plus you can also will have a shape to it so like if you want to create mine stairs you can and stuff or create a 3x3 three three hole in the ground yeah so anyway I I got my wood, now I just need to get my stones. The thing about FTB Alt to mine though is it does use extra durability and hunger. But it is super powerful. After getting my stone tools, I then go out to chopping down trees. I need oak wood. I know I chopped down a couple of acacia logs there, but I'm going, I then eventually go for just oak trees, like, uh, like that big one right there, and yeah, I chop it down. I do have a tree capitator model on as well, so I don't need to use Ultimine for trees when I have an axe. I then begin to construct what I needed that oak wood for. A luxurious house. A block. I added in a mod that allows me to create houses by creating a block. This luxury house requires a couple crafting tables, a furnace, a door, a couple pieces of glass, which I use my big axe to cook, as well as a few stairs. I also create another furnace for the house. Which, I should not have made additional stuff like that. Because you'll see here in a bit. Anyway, I created a luxury house from the fast build mod. And I find a good little place to set it down. <laughs> right there. And it kicks me out of the house immediately. And then I see there's furnace and crafting table in there already. God dang it. Okay, well that was some video editing gone wrong. Anyway. So, I'm in the house. Well, I promise not to use any of the workstations in the house. 
that came with house. The composter, the stone cutter, grindstone, fire furnace. Anyway. So, day two. And I go outside and witness a hyena murder course. I'm out the hyena. So I decided to go inside the house anyway. And I then ate the meat, which sucks. It, it tasted bad, it was raw, cold, and stringy. You don't care about that. All, all you care about is I got revenge. <laughs> anyway. I found five turtle eggs on the ground. I literally have no idea how they got there. I head inside my house to see whether they work as chicken eggs or not. And I just spawn in turtles. And I decide I'll give them names when I get name tags. I'll figure out you can pick them up. And so I leave the house and search for some crops. This is 100 Days as a Farmer. Shut up, elephant. But yeah, it's 100 Days as a Farmer. How am I going to do 100 Days as a Farmer if I'm not farming? And so, I go searching all over the plains for crops. I find a kangaroo and a bridge. I see crops in the cave, don't go for them. Anyway, I go to the bridge and go over it. And I see a house in the distance. I decide to head over to the house and then I see multiple houses pop up. It appears that I found a village. It's just up a hill. There's also housewives around. Anyway, I find a farm and fill my inventory. <laughs> like, seriously. My inventory barely had anything in it before I got to the village, except for maybe a few crops. But I wasn't throwing any of them out because, <clears throat> well, I'm a farmer. I need my crops. And so I begin harvesting. And if you you can see in the corner, I'm getting a whole lot of wheat seeds, which is all I really did. This for. But the wheat won't go unnoticed. I head inside. I see there's hay bales around, but. I'm not doing this for bread, I'm doing this for seeds. I don't see a little special block up there, but I can't jump up high enough to see what it is. And so I exit. And go to the neighboring house, which has bee stuff. A whole lot of candles. And some apple oak saplings, which I think are regular oak saplings before I actually read the name. Only two of those apple look saplings actually stack with, each, stack with each other. The bees, they don't stack. Anyway, I decided to leave and head over to the next area. Apparently this is a barrel. There's nothing in the seat. I had no idea what I expected to be there. In the chest, there's just a sapling. There's chili peppers on the ground, which I gladly take the seeds from and eat the actual chili pepper itself. It was hot. I got upstairs, I find this weird redstone contraption. Which... I mean... What is this even supposed to be? Can someone tell me in the comments? There's also buttons. And... Well, I just gotta press all the buttons I can find. You know how it goes. If you see a button, you just, you just gotta press it, you know? 
In the barrel, I find some bread, which I replace with that one. I replace that one wheat in my inventory with it, just in case I ever actually did need food. In case it's like healing or something. And my crops, they weren't gonna cut now, right now. I see an upstairs, but let me just save us all some time. There's nothing up there. I then head out through the village and activate a waystone Mrok Zoyrkred. I don't. Mrok Zoyrkred? Uh, it, it's, it's probably hard to pronounce. I then find a well, which I remember from watching a YouTube video on Dawncraft, having stuff in the item frames that's actually useful. In the well, I see a diamond, which you can tell I'm freaking out. Pretty soon, you're gonna hear some fireworks. Now, the thing with whatever mod I have in some, some one mod, uh, like yeah, it's around here on the emerald side when I'm my when I'm picking up the arrows. Because I do pick up the arrows. Anyway. That firework thing is to tell the villagers it's time to go to bed. Anyway, as you can see I'm clearing my inventory of junk I found in the mines. Should be right around here you hear it? Although I have the audio off for my audio recording for myself because I'm inputting the audio over video. I'm not inputting video over the audio. Anyway, so I'm picking up all the arrows just in case I ever get a bow. I also decide to pick up the iron and gold as well. Because it's gonna come in the hand. Iron and gold, they're used for quite a few things. Gold for dapples. And, well, piglins. This was 1.16.5. And iron, well, we all know iron has pieces as well. But then I realize it's getting dark, so I search in this house through the window, after getting out of the bush, for a bed, I didn't find any, so I went to the other house. There's no bed in here, but there was a full set of iron armor and a few bows. Nothing upstairs in the loft, but all I care about is that bow and that armor. I needed a way to defend myself if I was going to head back out there. I eventually, eventually, I eventually figure out I have a couple of occasional logs I can craft into planks to save up inventory space, so I have a free spot to grab the armor and also have a bow. I see that creeper outside. Anyway, I grab the bow and, well, I contemplate heading out there. There's a creeper right outside. And while I don't have iron armor, it's no match for creepers. I do eventually decide to run. I see, I see quite a few creepers. So I run to this little bridge. And, of course, the bridge is broken. I decide I'm going to have to risk it and jump across. I land in the water enough to not take fall damage, but I still land on the ground. I, uh... I decide to run, and in the distance I can see the bridge, and I know where my house is from here, but I have a river to cross. It's too long for me to cross here, and I'm being pelted by skeletons. I then swim across and see the creeper, and I'm being forced into the river by the skeletons, and... I died.
Yep. I died on day two. Now, I could have just restarted the entire thing, but I needed a video to get out. And, well, just so you guys know, I do plan on restarting this, doing another uh, video with better editing. Oh my goodness. It said day two, like a minute before I wanted it to. But anyway, so, yeah. I hope you all did enjoy, and uh, hit that like button if you did. Don't, move, don't forget to tap that bell to be notified when a new video comes out or I go live, which... Well, not the live part, but if you want to be notified whenever I actually survive 100 days, well... You'll be notified. Anyway, that is all. Hope you all have a great time. Have a great day or night. Uh, happy birthday. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Allahu Akbar. I don't know. what, what Whatever saying you guys like. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed.